Okay, next is uh, number 30 on your list. This is Celtus uh, Occidentalis or Celtus Occidentalis, your common hackberry. So before I talk about common hackberry, I'm going to talk about uh, taxonomy for a moment. Recently, my graduate student pointed out that uh, uh, Celtus or Celtus had been uh, realigned from the Olmaceae family to the Cannabaceae family, which is the, the family of uh, cannabis and the uh, humulus, which is hops and, and uh, cannabis or marijuana. The basis for uh, realignment and switching from uh, Celtus from Olmaceae into Cannabaceae was all done on uh, the molecular basis using presumably uh, one or a few markers uh, from different genes and different sequence information uh, to realign them. And this has become a very common um, uh, protocol uh, of late since the emergence of molecular and uh, particularly next generation sequencing. Uh, I, I, I don't think all of the time this is uh, a mistake, but this is one where clearly the reproductive uh, morphology, the vegetative morphology, in my opinion, does not match up. It just doesn't make sense uh, to realign it. And so I, I hope this is one that uh, uh, people will reconsider. So for our purposes, uh, Celtus or Celtus is still going to be in Olmaceae. So some characters of uh, this medium to large size tree in the landscape. Right, so uh, it does share uh, the fact that in, in Olmaceae, many of these species have an oblique base. That means that there's uh, more of the leaf blade on one side of the petiole than the other. So it gives it a bit of an uh, off-balanced uh, look to it. The leaves are alternately arranged. It has this zigzag stem. And once the leaves fall off, which we're about to lose the leaves of uh, Celtus here shortly, um, you do have these, uh, the, the buds in Celtus are quite flattened and they are fairly tightly oppressed to the stem and they sort of match that zigzag uh, pattern. So there's not a lot of species that, that I'm aware of out there, at least that, that we'll learn in 226, that have that flattened appearance to the buds that really uh, go right along uh, the stem. And you can see they have a little bit of a, a greenish texture to them during the growing season and uh, very prominent extended uh, lenticels. And the, uh, the fruit in, uh, uh, in uh, Celtus is going to be this berry-like uh, droop that is uh, somewhat prominent. Uh, Celtus is quite a, uh, a fairly tough tree in the landscape. It's not one that I see planted uh, a whole lot here around uh, the Pacific Northwest, but uh, I think a, a fairly decent tree can be a, a, a bit on the trashy side, but um, uh, that's Celtus occidentalis, your uh, common hackberry.